gonna do a video on the easiest biscuits you could ever possibly make. And they're made with cream, self-rising flour, and butter. Um, so let's start. In a bowl, I have two cups of self-rising flour, meaning it already has a leavening agent in it, and it already has some salt in it. And to that, I'm just going to add one cup of heavy cream. And with a fork, I'm just going to stir it. Just kind of gently combine it. Scraping the sides and the bottom. I should mention I've already preheated my oven to 425 degrees. That's very important. And it's going to start to come together to a messy dough like that. I'm going to keep going until it comes a bit more together. Now I'm going to get my hands in it. I'm just in the bowl, kind of gently pushing it together into a bit more of a, a mass. I can see this needs a little bit more cream. Depending on the situation, sometimes it'll take a little bit less or a little bit more. I'm gonna add a little drop of cream to this because it'll help it come together. A bit more. All right. That's coming together way better. And I'm not pressing hard into any of this. I just want it to come together as a, as a uniform dough. I'll make a little ball out of it or a rectangle. Set it to the side in my bowl. All right, I kept a little bit of flour um, to the side for dusting the cutting board. A little bit there, a little bit on top. I'm literally just going to press this out gently. Um, and then once we get to, say, about a half an inch, I'm going to fold it over and do the same thing. Just being really gentle. Kind of forming it into a two shape, you know, like a oval shape, I suppose. And then I'm going to do it one more time. And then we're going to just get this down to whatever size we want our biscuits to be. I'm going to go back to about a half an inch. Um, they don't have to be super uniform. We don't even need to use a rolling pin. We just want to make sure that it's not going to stick to the cutting board. And which makes way less dishes to do. Um, looks about good to me. A little bit more flour on top, smooth it over. Then I grab my cutting or my biscuit cutter, kind of a standard size, and cut very close to one another. gently combine this dough back together very gently just kind of pushing it into something that doesn't have a lot of like cracks and folds in it like that we want to get it back to uniform and we'll probably get about three more biscuits out of this uh, so gently a little bit more flour And one more. 
one time, as gently as can be, put it back together, leaving no big cracks. And we'll get one more out of that. Now, if you have a little bit left over, you can always just make a little drop biscuit or a little um, thing. If you're making this in a bigger batch and you have more than it'll fit in a pan, you can always uh, put it into a little disc and freeze it and save that for making like a pot pie topping or um, honestly, you could just freeze the biscuits as they are right now and then um, bake them in almost the same way. But let me get a little pan. And I'm gonna use a little baking pan like this because um, hopefully it's gonna help our biscuits that we put very close together rise a little bit more. So I'm gonna stick them in rows of three, touching each other. Make that our little extra biscuit. All right. So I have them lined up like that. Um, and hopefully being that close together, they will um, help each other rise a bit more. And I'm gonna take a, my thumb, and just put a little dimple on the top of each one. And hopefully that'll help shape them to care, or to catch more of the butter that we're gonna baste these in once they come out of the oven. So next up, my oven is still preheating a little bit, so I'll be right back. We're going to check them after about 12 minutes. Be back. So it's been, uh, I checked them at 12 minutes. They weren't quite done. I left them in for three more minutes. So let's pull them. And they're looking pretty good. Some of them got a little kind of, that's what those cracks do that I was telling you about. And there's our little, little extra biscuit. Um, but the only thing left to do now, um, and you can see where we've put a little dimple in the top of some of them, it's really held in there. And now as we baste them with butter, I didn't mean to break that one, um, it'll hopefully soak in a little bit better. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, I just have a pot with, uh, it's a half a stick of butter I melted and I used a really nice butter, um, Vermont Creamery cultured butter, and I'm using salted butter because I think biscuits should be a little bit salty. So I'm just gonna ladle or spoon a little bit over each one until there's no butter left. And they're just gonna soak all it in because they're still hot. Um, it's fine if they drip down the sides, get on the bottom. Um, but these are going to be very, very buttery tasting biscuits, that's for sure. I'll put a little bit more in our little ugly biscuit. And that is literally it. Um, turn off my oven. And That's what we got. Thank you for watching.